And when I got hurt, it just wasn't no resources, wasn't no one telling me how to do this and that. And I just laid there. Me and my mom just worked with what we got. I had a fear. You know, everything came with a fear. Can I do this, you know? And am I gonna have a support system behind me? The first year is really tough. Whether you're diagnosed with MS or spinal, have a spinal cord injury, is to get whatever you need, the treatment, the counseling, the peer counseling. Work, volunteer, but get out of bed in the morning, have a place to go to. I got my first job uh, with some help from vocational rehabilitation. And when I was 16 years old, I started working as a cashier at Elitches, which was kind of a dream job for a teenager. I felt like the easiest step was to go into college and then, you know, choose something to study in college that would be easily transferred into a job that isn't so labor intensive and could, could really tailor to my disability, but at the same time, tailor to something that I cared about and had passion about. Get out there, I, talk to other people, realize that you're not alone. And if you can just connect with one person who understands your story and is maybe a little farther along than you are, learn from that person. I would say to a parent that has a child with a disability, don't stop them. I mean, because at some point, you're not going to be there to hold that child's hand. You want them to obtain all the resources they possibly can. And if you give it to them properly, when you're long and gone, they can take care of themselves. Once I had the proper support system in place, I think I thrive. That's how you get out there. You just start. No matter how scary it is, you, you kind of flick yourself off the cliff. <laughs> it's just different but it's my life.